Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E, and I'm back with another one. Happy Friday. It's the weekend. I got through all the signs. <laughs> it's been a minute since I did all the signs, but I got through them motherfuckers. So that's good. This is a general reading for the collective. If I can shuffle these marks out, they flipping over already. We got doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Okay. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to take this bottom card right here. And I'm going to take that. Okay. So we got doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Abundance. I am a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. And then we got relationships. I attract, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. And then we got gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it, it presents collective i feel like that we've been grateful for the opportunities that we have we speaking our truth uh we seeing things for what it really is with this um purple here that's representing that crown chakra for me all this green just represents that heart chakra what it is that we love you know what i'm saying this blue representing that throat chakra what we speak you know our truth you know what we see what we love and what we speak and we have in gratitude for the opportunities that we have when it's um dealing with relationships you know we seeing people for people placing and things for what it what they really is and we having that self-confidence with this um solar plexus chakra because this put me in a mind state with this orange type yellow color put me in a mind state of the solar plexus sacral chakra and the sacral chakra just deals with you know what it is that you want in relationships it deals with your emotions your desires your creativity your sexuality and um knowing what you want in these relationships what you what you want in a sexual partner what type of emotions you want them to bring to the table you know and what you desire in a connection you know and this crown chakra deals with what you have you know your abundance knowing what you got um, when dealing with your earthly issues, not being in survival mode, you know, dealing with that mind, body, and soul, you know, that your physical, mental, and emotional well being, your safety, and your shelter. Quit chasing your tail and uh, and not chasing your tail because my dog just got up and woke up and started chasing his tail, you know. Um, <laughs> Some people could be waking up and chasing their tails and going in circles. Uh, this is telling you, wake up. Stop chasing your tail. Don't doubt, you know, what's really happening. Mm. Release the need to know all the answers. And with all of this um, orange and yellow in here, and it's just release the need to know all the answers because you already know what it is that you can do. And you already know what it is that you want when dealing with these connections. And you already know what it is that you can do. You know what I'm saying? With that solar plexus chakra. And that solar plexus chakra just deals with your willpower, your self-esteem, your confidence, and your vitality to move forward toward the things that you do want. You know? And move away from the things that you don't want. So... I kind of want to use some different cards. I don't want to pull the same cards that I pulled in these last couple of readings. So I'm going to pull out some new cards. We got the Work Your Light Oracle here. So, you know, you guys could be light workers, counselors, social workers, nurses, could be working in the community, customer service. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You guys are dreaming a new world into being. This is saying, don't doubt that you birthing a new creation. You don't you release the need to know all the answers as you birth this new world into creation. You are a warrior woman. How have you answered your deepest calling when it comes down to your abundance? You know? And with this sword, this represents mental en energy. And with me. The sword, it represents the tongue. You know what I'm saying? So, something that has to do with speech, music, um, spoken word, writing, 
anything intellectual is going to bring in abundance and we got transformations things are changing at a cellular level deep healing you going through this deep healing and as you go through this deep healing you're going to attract the relationships and people that serve your highest good because this is the age of life you've been training for this for lifetime you know what i'm saying get some star seed messages this is a star seed oracle and these i like to use the star seed and the uh light workers deck together because these messages usually coincide with one another we got the voice stop embrace winter great cosmic gloom so this is telling you this you could have been isolated for a minute and embrace being uh isolated this is your life it's a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability it's time for you to take creative accountability like i said something that you have to do deals with that intellectual um deals with the intellect you know and it's going to bring abundance it, it's paint your life the way you want to it's a canvas you're a warrior woman you had the answers already um, he to your deepest calling. Your deepest calling is your creative accountability. Your your ability to be able to manifest as an artist, you know. So this is like paint paint your life the way that you want it, you know. Give me one on this transformation. Jump in and draw me them energy adventure. Say yes to change, baby. It's time to say yes to change. You're going through this transformation. You got deep cellular healing. You are healing at a deep cellular level. You're going through deep healing. And as you heal, you're going to draw in these relationships. And it's just saying, jump into this change. We the hate haters. Deep love, mother's milk. Birth as a portal. When you birth in something, this is your birth as a portal. And then we got age of new light and gratitude. So be thankful for the opportunities that, that's coming. But you you it, you coming out of the darkness. You birthed in a new age, and we have here birth as a portal. Don't doubt that you didn't you didn't you coming through this transformation. You 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 birthed in new ideas. You birthed in something into reality right now. And as you birth these new ideas, everybody is not going to be on board with them. You know, everybody is not going to be as supportive as you think they should be. You know, which is why these relationships that serve your highest good is coming in to bring this blossom and abundance. Okay? And what we got here? The door to spirit has opened. Woman holding the coin. And we got all tied up. Don't be all tied up, you know. Embrace this, uh, embrace the coldness from people. Don't get all up in your head about that. You holding this coin, it's time for you to invest in your talent, invest in your gift, and your gift is gonna bring about this abundance. It's the door to spirit is open. It's time for you to go through that door. It's time for you to jump in on these different opportunities that the universe is bringing you right now to move forward and obtain this abundance i'm gonna grab a couple of cards out of this chakra deck That's a lot. This whole stack that flipped over. Okay. Don't get despondent. Thinking about what it should have could us and what if. Have faith in, in, and know that the universe is providing you with everything that you need to move forward. Don't doubt that you you don't doubt your self-worth, okay? When you're going on this journey. Because other people are going to try to make you doubt your self-work and make you feel like you got to be a workaholic to get this done. But you really don't. 
that's only to create confusion when it's coming to when it come down to your passion don't be confused when it come down to your passion and feel like you got to work hard for people to see your worth have faith Somebody is low-key miserable and they just hide it well. And then I'm this, I'm not ready to be single. I'm not ready to settle down. I want to be single. So somebody want to be single and they low-key miserable, but they just hide it well. Let's get some mama take whatever fall out. <laughs> but that, that card was drawn to me. You got a true hater. This person could be a nurse. What the fuck? New phone. Who this? LOL. Somebody got some bomb ass sex. So somebody got a new phone. And they like, who is this? You know. They don't want to be bothered. They like, not a chance in hell. I feel like I'm just going to keep that right where it's at. Okay, you won your case. This is the second or third time nothing came out. You is going through spiritual warfare, but luck, evolution, and alignment is on your side. You got somebody looking at your pictures. This could be that hater that's looking at your picture, and they see that you supported by the divine. You got support and divine flow. This um could be somebody that you was in a love triangle with unknowingly. But this could be somebody that put you in a love triangle. Or this is somebody that want to see you in a love triangle. We got 37. This is just telling you to stay encouraged and put in that material work toward what it is that you want. We got situationships. Somebody is overgiven to comp compensate for their insecurities and they want to swap lives with you. This person want to know, are you still weak? Something was predestined to happen. And spirit is just telling you to embrace change right now and connect with spirit. Because you're on the, you're on the brink of getting a promotion. Or somebody is going to get a promotion. Or somebody got a promotion. Or somebody is about to get a promotion. We got a cousin here. And some is saying, keep it moving. Payback is a motherfucker. Friends with benefits. Somebody is a looking ass. Okay. So we got somebody watching the situation. Somebody don't know how to articulate their thoughts. We got a 23-year-old Jezebel spirit. lot going on with that let's pull some island times out here it's a lot of energy healthy choices making healthy choices and love and life self love self care being happier so you making healthier choices when it come down to your love. You giving yourself that unconditional self-love. That one is that passion, is that affection. That affection that you was giving to other people, I feel like you pouring into yourself. A lot of people are starting to notice this, and this is drawing in more healthier relationships towards you. Spirit is just saying, continue to have gratitude, and let's get some angels and ancestor messages out here, and I'm going to close this out. Intend and create, baby. Time to get busy. Time to get creative. Great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences and take care of your needs. You could have been taking care of your needs in the winter. And this is a high priestess. Harness that mystic power. So I felt like you was harnessing your mystic power and you was taking care of your needs in the winter. And you was learning from those spiritual experiences. 
that you have but right now it's time for you to continue to intend and create and see things from a higher perspective as you transform and shape shift and unveil your gifts and as you transform shape shift and unveil your gifts you need to trust that the higher forces have your back and hold space for whoever it is that you need to hold space from and stay rooted and grounded. And that's the message, guys. I feel like I want to pull one more, but I don't know what. Let's pull a spirit animal. Trust in the magic, bottom of the deck. But let's see what comes out. We got the cat spirit reclaim your independence. First one flipping out. But I just want one. Clear out the cutter. Frog spirit. Clear out the clutter, clutter. Time for beginner's mind. Porcupine spirit. Okay. So it's time for a beginner's mind. So it's time to look at things from a fresh perspective. And it's time that we got 28 and 48 out here. Twenty-eight and forty-eight. And up under here is truth transcends illusions, dragonflies. Okay, so you see the truth uh, when it's coming down to these relationships that you in with people, you know, you no longer despondent looking back and just not being happy with your life. You uh, putting that work in, it's, it's saying take a leap. You go through this uh, door to spirit and towards your passion and get what it is that you want. You no longer confused. You know that you don't have to work hard to get the results that you need. You know your self-worth and you have faith that everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. But you need to clear the color, clear out the clutter. Clear out the color, clear out the clutter, clear out the clutter in your life. You know get organized and i'll end this right where it's at now if you guys like the message like share and subscribe to the channel i'm empress e thank you guys for tuning in and have a good weekend this was a general reading for all signs